Look at this and tell me this doesn't look like art. These joggers are made out of recycled cotton. Just love the shape. I've been battling <sighs> depression for a really long time. This is basically what the bathroom looks like. painted this and I am on such a painting streak. I have so many canvases, but look at these. thing on <laughs> it feels so awkward to come back on camera because i've been kind of away for a while just offline for mental health reasons but i was just doing stuff around the house this morning and i thought it would be so weird to not post another video before the end of this year it's crazy that it's the end of 2020 already but i just wanted to hop on and do like a vlog it's just gonna be a really chill day at home i have been self-isolating again because i want to go back and visit family for christmas so i'm leaving tomorrow and my dad actually wants to do a sleepover here um, so he's gonna come afterwards and stay here for a bit, which I was just like, you know when you just have like Asian parents with really high expectations and you want to show them that you're living well. So I literally was like, I need to deep clean everything and make sure I show him that I have been living a good life here and like clean everything up. So I've just been cleaning around the house. The past few weeks have definitely been tough, um, but I'll probably dive into that later in this video quickly wanted to show you the loungewear today if you watch my holiday gift guide i talked about these joggers this is a set from backbeat co which is a brand that i talked about in my first um, sustainability minded brands to know they are a woman of color owned brand based out of la and these joggers are made out of recycled cotton these are super warm joggers they're warmer than my base range ones which is why i've been loving them because it has been a little bit colder here in canada also my mirror is so dirty i need to clean that later too i really love this i went from having i went from searching for joggers for like two years to now having two of like the perfect pairs of joggers so i'm really happy with it and i'm happy that i waited out and didn't just get joggers in the past so i love it's just so cozy anyway my stomach keeps grumbling so let's make lunch i prepped some veggies yesterday so these are just look at these colors um stir fried in some oil i have carrots mushroom brussels sprouts purple cabbage and I think that's it. <laughs> I also have frozen rice because your girl is so lazy and does not want to cook rice right now. So I'm gonna reheat this and then throw a little bibimbap bowl together. This is the perfect plate stand. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know why I'm doing this on a plate. I just really like how this plate looks for the visuals, but this is gonna be so hard because usually you like mix it together, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna try to do something for visuals. Oh my God. Honestly, when I find a recipe that I like and that my body responds to well, I eat it for like a week or two and then I'll get bored of it and then try to find a different type of recipe. But it's been so fun. Like the other day I made crispy sweet and sour tofu. Look at this and tell me this doesn't look like art. It's just so pretty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera that well, but this just makes me enjoy eating good food even more because it's so colorful, you know? A little taste test. Mm. And then if you add red pepper paste, it has like a spice to it and a kick to it, which is great. But this itself just tastes really healthy. So I love it. Do you see this? Now that I have some food in me, I want to finish the rest of my chores. So um, I want to dust 
and get all the dust that my vacuum doesn't usually get so like the dust on like the baseboards and the trim and my like surfaces like my piano Currently have a date child delivery downstairs, so I need to go run and grab that real quick. Put this mask on. <laughs> quick OOTD. I love this. Considerate goods, eco fleece, cotton. Let's go. Got some packages. So this first box is a surprise. This is from my friend Anella. She Friends Considerate Goods, which is the reusable mask that I have. Oh my god, this is so cute. She sent me another mask. <gasps> this is adorable. Hold on. This mask is everything. This brown hound's tooth. This is so cute. This is like going to be my new mask for fall winter. Oh, I love this print so much. Thanks, Anilla. These are literally the best shape ever. I love the way that they hug my cheekbones here and they have like, adjustable straps too. Slay all day. Oh. I'm gonna cry. Oh. Next one I'm so excited about. This is from Bianca. She runs Bell and Tony Designs and she is Vancouver based. So this is the new um, turtleneck that she came out with and it is using a tensile by lensing, which is a great supplier of sustainability minded fabrics. So tensile is a eucalyptus tree and she actually has a little thing here about this. So this is what just came to. It is a pair of boots from Aloha's. I think I shared the sandals in a previous vlog, but I really like that they produce uh, on-demand shoes, um, all ethically too. I've been eyeing this pair of boots for so long and they were on pre-order a few months ago and I was thinking about them for I think three months <laughs> and then I finally was like okay I want these in my wardrobe so my other pair of black suede booties I've had for so many years and they are hanging on by a thread I brought them to the local cobbler to see if I can repair the leather but it's hard being in Canada because the salt um, in the winters just deteriorates any type of leather, even if I clean it and use mink oil and use sprays, it's just tough. So I've been looking for another black suede boot because I wear it so much. Um, when that one, literally, it's starting to get like holes in it. It's so bad, but I'm gonna try to wear it for as long as I can. But now I have this option too, and I'm really excited about it. So I just fell in love with how sleek this looked and it has a square toe instead and i just love this shape i think it's so chic so let's try this on i'm excited this is actually so cute it is the perfect color but this is the top by bell and tony designs uh definitely a 
top to wear with a bra because the fabric is super um, soft so it does show the nips pretty easily but I'm obsessed with it. I got this in a medium and it just sits perfectly with this mock neck. I feel like it's super cute too with the short hair. Tucked it into these trousers that I thrifted a long time ago. I feel like because it is a bit looser around the waist, um, it looks better with something super clean and slim on the bottoms. And then I'm also obsessed with these shoes. Oh my gosh, look at these boots. This is such a nice shape. All right, we're in my washroom right now. I am about to take off my makeup do some skincare, but I thought while I'm in here, I would show you what my washroom looks like now. Um, if you watched my like DIY kitchen makeover, I hinted at how I was gonna do a bathroom makeover. I'm just gonna show you before and after photos because <laughs> it was so long ago and it took me forever. I basically painted this wall as an accent terracotta color and put in the circle mirror and then I spray painted the lights white. Um, I just have some dried eucalyptus. I need to replace those, they're so old. And then just like a really simple shower curtain, um, some pothos, and this is my setup. I did contact paper to have like a zen vibe, and then I painted the handles the same matte paint as this wall. So I don't know if you guys can see, but hopefully you can see in this wide angle, but this is basically what the bathroom looks like. I honestly feel like it's super zen. The plan is to put a like dried flower vase there and hang up a little picture. Um, and then also probably put some thing on this wall too. I thought it would be super cute to do like a DIY Moroccan tile cause it suits the color scheme in here. But I feel like maybe in the future, <laughs> I did so many DIYs to this place already. So, I just kept the same old bath mats that I had. It doesn't really go with like this lighter zen aesthetic, but it's okay. They work perfectly fine, so. I'm just packing the rest of my things. I love this little Stojo bottle because it's collapsible and I just keep water in here for car rides and stuff. So I'm gonna bring that face towel. I honestly think all I packed was workout clothes and sleeping clothes and then last minute I decided to bring a little cozy knit so this is just a nice like white chunky one that I thrifted a while ago. I'm gonna try to shove it in here. I feel like I packed pretty light though. I just have two, three bags because I'm bringing my laptop and stuff home. And there we go. It's my little weekend bag. This bag is so old. It's been with me for like 10 years, I think. Crazy. Let's go. I'm all packed, which makes me less stressed. I feel like packing is like always the most anxiety inducing thing. I just have three bags, which I'm really proud of myself for. I feel like I packed really light this time. I'm back in Mississauga and I'm walking over to give some cake to Hannah. I'm so sweaty because I just helped my dad shovel some snow. I thought I would vlog, so it's not just <laughs> me at home in my apartment. Merry Christmas. It's currently Christmas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, in my car now. I'm waiting for my car to warm up right now because I haven't driven it in a while, but I thought that I would give you a little update on my mental health and where I've been. And I think it's really important to destigmatize a lot of the stuff around mental health. And I hope that sharing this can help any of you who are in a really similar situation or just feeling the feelings 
um, but I've been battling <sighs> depression for a really long time and I didn't want to acknowledge it for a really long time and I was a super high functioning depressive so because I was so high functioning it's really hard to diagnose unless you self-diagnose and it just got to a point where in the beginning of COVID, the first like four or five months, I was okay because I just kept pushing through. And that's just how I've always coped with everything is I just full gas, no brakes, burnout, all of that. And because it has been almost a year of this, <laughs> I got to a point where I didn't have energy to fight it anymore. So I am really grateful that I have this space to really figure this out but I finally it took me a really long time it took me a lot of therapy too to acknowledge it and to get over the stigma myself of like meds and knowing that I needed help beyond everything that I was already doing for myself and my mental health and my self-care and so I went on antidepressants 29 days ago now and I was in a very 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 low place for the last few weeks um and i'm just waiting for the meds to kind of kick in it usually takes like four to six weeks and we don't even know if these are like the right meds or the right dosage but that is why i've kind of been mia from youtube and from instagram there were so much things that i wanted to post and i wanted to work on but I really had to just prioritize myself and prioritize just living and yeah I'm really excited about like the space that I'll be in once I kind of have this figured out but it takes time and <laughs> I'm a very impatient person so I'm like why can't it work already but I am feeling a little bit better now therapy was really helpful um, last week as well but yeah that's kind of where I've been and that's why I haven't really been posting a lot of the um, heavier research intensive topics around sustainability too like there was so much I wanted to post around the holidays and Christmas shopping but I just posted my holiday gift guide and I felt like that was good enough for now <laughs> so yeah um, if you are in a low spot right now just know that you're not alone i feel like everyone honestly right now with the pandemic and everything has like a little bit of depression you know and plus seasonal affective disorder seasonal depression it's just it's so much so i'm here for you and if you need to vent or rant about anything please do so in the comments i'm here i read and respond to all of my comments um, and I, if I have the emotional space for it, but just know that I'm also here for you and that I'm also going through it. And I think the last thing I wanted to say in this vlog is I feel like around this time, everyone is posting about like their holiday festivities or everything amazing that happened this year. And it is enough that you survived this year and stayed healthy, both physically and mentally. And that's enough and don't feel bad about oh but i could have also done this or like oh i could have also done that or oh like where these past few months go it's been a hard year it's a really different time i'm also really grateful that i have family close by so it is about like an hour and a half drive from where i am right now um i and i'm able to do so because i literally don't see anyone like i don't even have a social bubble <laughs> i have been literally just by myself um coping with zoom calls and texts and yeah uh and i also did get tested a few days ago just to be certain because my anxiety would not let me <laughs> just not so yeah everything is good i'm really grateful for that and i just hope that you all are doing well and know that you're not alone and that there's hope and that we're getting through this we've gotten through so much already and yeah we're all in it together so I hope that you have an amazing holidays and an amazing new year and I can't wait to see you in the new year and I can't wait to feel like myself again and I don't even know what that feels like but I'm excited for it so I love you so much appreciate you so much thank you for supporting me and my channel through this past year and um 
I can't wait to see what else comes out of this in the new year. Anyway, that was a five minute, <laughs> five minute ramble. So I'm gonna go and I will chat with you soon. Bye everyone.